one of the biggest uh, occasions in my life was when I had been ordained to become an ASP. As you can imagine, for those of us that were part of the Leaders uh, Expo that had happened in December, for me, when my zone was called up on Saturday before the ordainment on Sunday, it was called up with two senior pastors. I was, I, I was overjoyed. I said, Lord, thank you so much. Uh, I, I will have two senior pastors and uh, I will have the ability to focus on HQ this wonderful year. But like the Bible verse that I said in the beginning says, I alone, that means God alone knows the plans that he has for you. Little did I know that come Sunday, when the ordainment was called out, the Madam, uh, Madam Global Director, when she called out Suva English Zone, she called out the two senior pastors. I had been working on the HQ tasking, which was finance, up in the pavilion. And I got the biggest shock when uh, she mentioned that there is going to be a new ASP for Suva English Zone. That ASP is Desmond Bali, this wonderful evening. You can imagine the, the fear or the, the shock that had got into me that wonderful day. I went down. Uh, as the ordainment was going on, I knew that I couldn't say no to the calling. Augustine always says, don't say no because your blessing lies in that calling that you have been given. So I stood there and I prayed to God and I asked God, God, this is your calling. This is not my calling. I had prayed to you yesterday for you to thank you for the, the, the less responsibility. But today you have given me another responsibility. And then I know that only you, only you can help me this wonderful evening. And so I asked God, God, please just give me the strength. Give me the wisdom to do what you want me to do this wonderful evening. And as it so happens at that time, Aunga Selevu, uh, as well as those that have been acting while he was away as well, had been teaching about Acts 2.42. I was so intrigued about that, uh, about that teaching, especially the first part where it says, follow the apostles' teaching. And so many of us today have heard that Bible verse. There's no one in New Methodist that doesn't know that teaching, that Bible study that Gasilev always takes us through. And I am here today to tell you that I had certainly learned so much from that Bible, that Bible study that Gasilev always takes us through. I took out two things that Gasilevu and Randini Gasilevu had always thought about, which was wailing you all, being where the leaders are because that's where the anointing is. And the one thing that I added to that was for me to not apo uh, apologize or for me to not send any apology for any roster that I was rostered on, be it Bible, uh, Business House Bible Study, uh, the same as being here this wonderful evening or anything for that matter. I would not apologize because I know that the blessing lies here today. And brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that are listening in, I, I can tell you that just by taking those little steps, those little things, eh, being at the Wailing Sea Wall, trying my best to be at the Wailing Sea Wall every single morning, though I'm not part of the executive services team, I just do all I can just to help, um, help with what... Uh, uh, they have, they need or they require whatever they, it is that they need. And then the, the wonderful feeling eh, to see the leaders come in, go out as comfortable as they are. It was just enough for me. And then the second part, be where the leaders are. Eh? Um, I first took, uh, took this upon myself when it came uh, to the, the, the evangelism in Nakasa over in uh, Samsabu. Eh? My uh, fellow colleague, senior pastor, um, senior pastor from Lotoka, is uh, is our lead for this evening. He will also he will also will, uh, testify that evening when we got onto the same boat uh, to go to to leave for Sabu. I wasn't feeling I wasn't feeling a hundred percent. He was looking. I was putting in uh, numerous amounts of Panadol. I was saying to myself, Lord, I don't care how I get there. I don't care what it takes for me to get there, but I, I know that I have to get there this wonderful evening. And so I reached there and I saw the amazing things that have happened over in Nakasa, over in Natubu, over in Valeni, the wonderful Talno sessions. But not only that, ladies and gentlemen, I also finally got to know how much Aunga Selevu loves God and how much he gives so much for God and how much Aurandini Gaselevu also gives so much for God. Angasilev did Talno sessions from the day and then come the evening he did